uh, luckily for me, like from my point of view, I didn't have any directed towards me or when I was growing up, no one in my team either. So that's fortunate on my behalf. But I can see where it would come in in other parts, especially other sports as well. I think it would hurt, I think quite a lot, especially I think younger younger people, especially like the, let's say for example, like 12 year old, something like that, it's gonna, it's gonna really hurt them for like, as long as an adult, I think they could probably handle it a bit better. But then like in terms of sport, I guess, people could be doing that to put some off a game, which isn't right, I guess, in that sense, which is quite a bad thing. If, if someone's doing that to you, whether that's a, maybe a crowd's doing that to a certain player, or even like, an opposition person, which isn't fair, I don't think. I think on a pitch, you probably tell the referee or a match official and let them do that, uh, let them do the consequence of the opposition player. Um, in work, there, maybe it's like in general life, um, tell a responsible adult, for example, if you're in school, tell a teacher, tell someone who's there who can probably deal with that situation then, and probably that'll be the best thing for them. Yeah, I think education is key on that. Um, for example, someone might not, not know the educate like be educated well in that subject, and so they could say something not in a nasty term, just could just get it wrong. For example, and maybe that's a different thing between someone being deliberately saying it, and then someone who's accidentally said it and said something that they didn't mean to say in that way was just meant to say in a different way. So I think education is a big key. It would be a key factor rather than tackling it. I think more is where it used to be skin colour. I think that's changed now. It's probably gone to the fact that you say about Brexit. It's more religious and nationality where they like, for example, you see a lot where oh, people are taking our jobs, for example, the additional nationalities. Then realistically, they're British as well. You have people who are British. They might be from a different country as well, but they are the British citizens. And that's where you see a lot of it now. So the skin colour probably has gone out of it. It's more nationality and religion. For example, if you want to say be stereotypical, you see people say, oh, if they're Muslim, people, some naturally will say, oh, you must be a terrorist then. And that's not fair then, you're, just, you're subject to one person or someone else's actions are done by themselves. I don't feel that's fair on them. Where you look at like someone who's white, like one person will be a terrorist who's white, then no one else is, everyone else is subject to be, oh, if he's white, then everyone else is, who's white is a terrorist. So I don't think that's fair on blaming one person for doing everything on that religion. Or that nationality. Probably if it is on the pitch, it could have stronger consequences, I guess. Bans, and then people who are like in the crowd, I guess you have lifetime bans then, I think, because it just needs to get kicked out of the game completely. Um, education back to that, I think, just educating the people on it. Yeah, 100%. Where you look at, you have a lot of role models in rugby, you look at the national team. Stuff like that, people look up to them. If they if they are fighting against racism, I'm sure that's going to do a lot for a young kid from the Ronda or any Valley situation, eight nine years old, looking up to them and thinking, oh, if he's doing it, maybe I should as well. And just learning from them, that's a good thing about role models, I guess. You do learn from them. And so, for example, if they do a bad thing, then they're obviously a bad one, then people will follow. But if they're doing a good thing, then people also follow that way. That way. 100% it's been effective where you're using sport as well so you look, you look at education just an education as a whole people use sport with education to almost thrive on that where if we do now with racism it's going to work quite well um, especially like we go back to the education thing you, you tell young people what's, what's right and what's wrong and maybe if you look at some people from family backgrounds then it does help in that way because they might not get taught from their mother or father or parents they just getting taught from another adult and maybe that's wrong, that's wrong, where they haven't been in the past. And I just think that'll be a better way of doing it. Show racism the red card.